Oakville woman is reunited with a piece of her past, missing for almost 40 years. She lost her Iowa City West high school class ring in the 1980s. Oh, wow. But now we're talking almost 38 years later, that piece of jewelry was found more than 1,300 miles away. And it instantly brought back memories, but she didn't believe it when she heard about it at first. And KCRG TV 9's Molly Swain joining us now in the studio with that story. That's right, she didn't. Lori Wenman, Wenman Peterson said at first she thought it was a scam, a woman reaching out on Facebook saying she had a piece of her past from almost 40 years ago, but it turned out to be true, and Lori said it's been a poignant reunion. This is Lori Wenman Peterson visiting Miami during the summer of 1986. I was down there with some friends. That trip was also where she lost her class ring. Oh, I remember it vividly. I looked down and I was like, oh my God, I don't have my class ring. I don't want to go back home to Iowa. I don't want to tell my mom. <laughs> but she did go back without her ring and life went on for more than 30 years. Until she loved like trinkets from the church rummage sale. Jen Lane lives in Florida. Her mother had been going through boxes of belongings from Jen's grandmother. And there was a ring Jen had never seen before with a name engraved on it. We went and searched and power of the internet, we uh, we found her pretty quickly. Lori said she's ecstatic to have her old ring resurface after all these years. And I was like, oh my goodness, that is my class ring. I have not seen that forever. I thought it was gone, you know. Lori also felt the power of the past in a way that went beyond the return of her jewelry. The ring arrived in the mail on Monday, what would have been her mother's 83rd birthday. I feel like, I almost feel like my mom is with me and she was part of it. A person loses a lot over 38 years of life, but in this one instance, what was lost is now back home. It means so much to me, it, it really does. I mean, I don't think I'll ever take it off now. In Cedar Rapids, Molly Swain, KCRG TV9 News.